the former C68 high aspect, currently at Bunda Marina, Fiji. She is all imported, able to do commercial work in luxury charters, and she looks like she's just been built yesterday. Everywhere you look, you'll see that everything is in perfect condition. Her owners, owner operators, are um, just keeping her looking like this always, and uh, obviously they are quite easy to achieve such perfection. She's now ready to be handed over to her new owners, whether they want a luxury yacht to go sailing around the world with, or simply to continue running as a commercial operation. All the permits are here, which is a very simple transaction for whoever would like to run their own charter business. This clever transom opening actually folds that flat on the back of the square angle with a ladder coming down, which makes um, a little duck board, which makes the, the um, boarding the, the dinghy or going back from swimming very easy. Here we can see it down with this rope system. You can set it at whatever angle you want. Up or down with the ladders that then falls out to give you a proper swimming ladder. The sails were taken down as it's the second season here in Fiji at the moment. They are all stored inside the boat. Nothing is left to be UV damaged or damaged by this very humid weather we're having at the moment. And that is in case of a storm. This marina is a Bunda Marina, which is a cyclone protected marina, which has seen category 5 cyclones without any damage. And here we are on board High Aspects. In the main cabin, starting with the beautiful salon, which can sit 10 12 people on one side and then more people on the other side with this really nice bench. As with the rest of the boat, you'll see that. Down to the most minute detail, everything is in beautiful condition. The joinery is outstanding, and anyone who loves timber work will be able to spend hours looking at how everything fits together. Details. Nothing was rushed here. This is not a production boat, it's a work of art. Normally, when filming inside a boat, we put all the lights on. In high aspect, we don't need to do that. It's a bright interior. Even at midday, when the sun is straight overhead, and there are less, uh, the sun is not able to penetrate as deeply. There are some curtains everywhere, so you can close it all up if you want to be in the shade, actually. Big flat screen television. 
library, obviously there is storage behind all those cushions. They're only very nice linen, which doesn't get sticky in, in hot days when like a blazer does. I much prefer linen as well. Blazer is just uncomfortable in the hip. There's another television here, it works, but it's just there is two now, but this one could be taken away if necessary. Stereo systems and DVD player. The nav table is a quite extraordinary switchboard. There's absolutely a switch and a fuse for everything. Communication controls for the generator, control power. You'll see that the floor throughout the whole entire board, including in the forecastle and storage rooms, has just been beautifully revarnished. It's like a mirror. Accessing the bilges is really easy. There's um, safe locking systems. Find compartment. We'll do the cabins in a little bit. I just want to give you a full view of the salon. The barrier set here. There is a big Christian freezer box here at the moment, which stays with the boat when it's being sold, but for now, we'll see where it lives. Going back to the galley. It's um, obviously designed to be able to cook for lots of people. Extensions. This extension just gives you a really big work and serving areas. Perfect for women and chalice. Really good size stove. We can actually fit three big saucepans there rather than three burners too close together. A lot of sailors will relate to that. Proper sink. Storage everywhere. Going forward, we'll step towards the two staterooms. You'll see there is so much storage on this boat. It's well adapted to two very big um, long-term adventures, passages, exploration. So here's one of the staterooms, which has a big bed, which is a queen-size bed. It's much cooler than in the rest of the boat. It's well insulated. Right now it's about 37, 38 degrees outside and inside it's quite pleasant. Can you tell about how well the boat was insulated? This goes towards the head area. Okay, so right now the curtains are closed, but yeah, this area is just really bright when I open them. There is a separate chair behind that door. So the toilet, there is one toilet for each of those state rooms, although they share a shower. This room at the moment is used for storing the sails, but it's identical to the one on the other side. So yes, so because all the sails are taken down for the cyclone season, they have to be stored somewhere, which is why they're here right now. That gives you an idea of what it's like. Same storage everywhere. Plenty of storage under the bed. The little vanity area. Going on to its own toilet. A 
second a shower. So this shower is shared between the two state rooms but has separate toilets on either side. As you can see again, the furnishing everywhere, even in the Fox which was the money, somewhere that people forget to maintain. It's all just perfect. Fox which could be an additional cabin, although really on a boat like this you need a proper workshop. So this is used for storing a lot of equipment. Again, if you were to use this boat privately, you would have huge amounts of space for everything as a family. If you were to use this boat as a commercial vessel, you have enough room to have plenty of privacy between guests and crew area, which is in the back, and also have room enough for everyone to be able to put their things away and still have room for all your equipment, which is a very big asset because storage on boats can be tricky, especially on modern boats. Now we're going into the back section of the boat. Communicating with the aft section of the boat, going past the engine room. We have another stateroom. Perfectly designed for chowder again with its own shower and toilets, which are again separated. There is um, on this boat all the showers and toilets are separate, which you'll find is quite nice so that things just don't get wet every time someone has a shower makes the whole entire bathroom wet. Very pleasant aft cabin. Again, storage, plenty of natural light. The floor has a carpet in this area. There is an identical room on this side too, exactly the same. to maybe transform these two cabins into one giant step room. Shouldn't be too difficult to arrange, but for now the aim is to have four double cabins and then cribbers. As a as a owner operator it's really important to have still your privacy and the privacy of your guest but also to have room for your crew. So at this moment, crew room number one, which has two bunk beds, is full of um, equipment that's stored below during the cyclone season. And uh, also some private effects which will come off when the owners move. They've been on this boat for almost 30 years, so you can imagine. This will be a big move for them. This one is an additional place to store all the tools and spare parts. There is enough. So, if you can imagine, this is a comfortable cabin for crew. There's two beds going to its own bathroom again. The crew cabin, this crew cabin actually communicates with another door directly next to the companionway. So, sorry, next to the navigation area so that the pilot, when not here, can be there. Again, sorry for the mess, but it's imagine it as it is set, as set, up, set up as a cabin. The motor is looking very clean. There's no rust of corrosion anywhere. quite a large engine room. Everything is well set up. Look nice. And the generator. It's also in very good condition. You can see around the alternator and usual places for collision there is none. The rest of the boat really well maintained.
imagine is accessible from all sides with these removable panels. This one goes down as well. And so here with the generator, you can service it without sitting down or bending down. It's at eye level. Very easy. Okay, so that's the other side of the motor. Just immaculate. So here they are, two fuel, fuel filters, and they are set up in a way that if one gets blocked, there is a valve that when you turn it, will automatically relay the fuel through the other fuel filter, and in the cockpit there is a button that if you press it, it will bleed the whole entire system in 15 seconds. So here we have something that's quite rare, and that's Amazingly advantageous is the dry exhaust. All right, so we've got the silencer. Then we've got where the water goes in to cool the engine down, and it's done in a way that it's never possible for it to get back through the engine. You'll notice that it's also high above the water line. This is Anna at Nautilus Yacht Management. I hope you have enjoyed discovering this beautiful boat. If you would like to arrange for an inspection, please come get in touch with us. The boat is currently situated at Wunda Marina, which is about 20 minutes north of Nandi International Airport. It will be a pleasure to show you around. Thanks for watching.